Apple. You finally listen. You listened, you listened. 13.4 has given us this. It's given us the Magic Mouse 2 support that we should have gotten a long time ago. And today, we're gonna be talking about that. So let's check it out. What's going on, it's Average Tech Guy here, and today I am excited, super excited. Uh, we got brand new iPad coming out. Now this is my 2018 model of the iPad Pro. This is the one I've been using for the past year and a half, two years almost. And this is the device that gave me so much trouble. If you are new here, welcome. You don't know my plight. If you have been with me for the past year and a half, two years almost, talking about this device, we've had our ups and downs. So when the beta first came out for iPad OS, I was able to connect this. I did tons of videos connecting different mice, different peripherals, different accessories, and all of those worked except for Apple's own Magic Mouse. So as you can see right there, it's actually moving on its own on my screen when I'm touching it. We're gonna get into that in just a little bit, but Apple finally listened. Now, I'm not saying they listened to me because I knew that they had a trick up their sleeve. I said this about a month or so ago. I made a video saying how this thing was actually dead to Apple. They weren't using it. They weren't allowing people to connect it. Now, some people were able to still connect theirs. If you never disconnected when you update it, you still had that connection there and you were still able to do so. But if you ever disconnect it, you lost it. And I was one of those who actually connected, disconnected, connected, disconnected, because I was trying everything out for you guys, the consumer, trying to show you if it worked or if it didn't work. But now we finally have that solution in 13.4. So let's check this thing out. So guys, right here in front of me, iPad Pro, this is the 2018 model and my Magic Mouse 2 right here in hand. Now I'm running the beta right now because the beta doesn't actually come out yet. But if you can see on the screen right there at the top in the red, you can see my mouse going back and forth. So the cool thing about this now is you no longer need that assisted touch. You just come into your settings. Once you're in your settings, you click on accessibility. And normally we would have to go into touch, click on touch, go to assisted touch and actually turn that on. That is no longer needed. You see right here, my assistive touch is actually off. And then what I'm doing is I'm just coming back out and you actually get your mouse. Now, one cool feature about this mouse is if you look at it, it's white. When you actually go onto an app, like I'm gonna go on the FaceTime right there, it disappears and FaceTime actually lights up. It moves, gets bigger. And as you move from app to app, all these apps just basically kind of get bigger as you go, which is a cool feature. I really like that, I appreciate that. The next thing is the actual gestures. So even though this thing would work with when iPad OS first came out, there were no gestures. Now, taking your finger and you are swiping, swiping, swiping. Even the up down gesture works, just the pull down pulls down the search, but going back up doesn't do anything and vice versa. So nothing goes on once you do that, you just have to basically click on the screen, it takes you back home. Now, when you are actually in your settings and if you see the apps across the bottom, just look at them. As I go across them, as I scroll across them, they get bigger and they actually start to move a little bit. So nice little feature lets you know that you are actually on that device. And then if you want to scroll, I'm scrolling through my widgets right over here, go into my settings. I can scroll up and down. There are no issues with that. It's nice. It's buttery smooth. Everything looks good. And then you actually have your own mouse settings. So if you click on general, come down here to trackpad and mouse. There we go. You get natural scrolling, which allows you to scroll. You get your speed and you actually get a secondary click. Now I've turned secondary click on and I haven't gotten anything yet, but keep in mind, I am in the beta, so we don't know what that's gonna entail. And then actually when I highlight general, if you take a look at that, boom, it's gonna highlight it and the little dot goes away. So the dot goes away, goes away, goes away. Back to accessibility, what I wanna check out is the actual uh, pointer control. So I wanna see if we can change the size of this. 
And there we go. Perfect. So you can change the size of that pointer, bringing it back down to that very smallest size and then automatically hide pointer in two seconds. And you can come down here to color and you can actually change the color of that. Now, I'm going to try green. It gives it that little highlighted green. And if you do red, it does the same thing. Blue, yellow, orange. I like orange. I'm sticking with orange. Oh, and that's dope. Now when you go up to your selection right there, it puts an orange box around that. So really lets you know that you are on that and you're good to go. If you go down to the bottom right here, highlights the back and there we go. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to delve into this a little bit more. I think that's all that it really has to offer, but I'm hoping that there are a few more things that will happen once you get with that new iPad. So I'll be doing full coverage of the Magic Mouse 2, also the Magic Trackpad, all those things, plus the other mice, just to make sure that they're going to work the exact same way when the official, official iPad releases. So I'm so excited to have this back. I, I put it down and I said in future videos that Apple, there is no way that Apple would not provide full support for their own device. And I was just hoping that this would happen and it looks like it has happened. So big ups to Apple. They listened. They took care of the consumer. They got us what we wanted. And now I don't have to get rid of it. So big ups to Apple. Please stay tuned because iPad is coming in later on this week. Uh, tons more videos will be coming out. I'm going to do everything that you guys need me to do for this uh, full review, unboxing, whatever you want. Please be sure and leave those suggestions in the comments below. I'll try to get as many as I can and as many devices and accessories so that you guys can see what this new iPad has to offer or if it's just the same old thing from two years ago. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.